The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible. And Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help us tell our story. Welcome back, Jerry. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. All right. So what's our storytelling tip this week? Our storytelling tip this week is make one less point. Make, make one less point? Yeah, you know. I want to make of, one more point. Well, that's actually what, um, you know, most of us, uh, you know, a lot of us do that. You know, we think, you know, if I can just come up with one more point, one more reason why right. I'm right, then that's going to be what's going to kind of tip the balance and the world's just going to say, oh, of course. Of course. Where and have you been all my life? I miss that. Exactly. But, you know, the reality is that one more point often makes your story weaker because it makes it longer and it makes it more unwieldy. Whereas if you if you tell if you make one less point than you thought you might want to make it, it hones your message and makes it crisper. And I like to think of it as kind of like putting your story on sale. You know, if you go to this, if you go to the store and you see something that's 20 percent off or 40 percent off, that's great. Right. Well, if I start out with five points to deliver my message or to back up my message. Right. And if I take one of them out so that I only have four, but they're the four strongest ones, then I've actually kind of, I, I like to look at it as I've put my story on sale for 20% off. And while my audience will never know that, they will subconsciously know that it's crisper than it might otherwise have been. And so I've made it easier for them to hear or read what it is I have to say. And so I think I've put it on sale for them and given them a bargain. Now, now, Jerry, I, of, I often think of it has to be an odd number. Like when you're decorating, you're always told, you know, there should be three or five. I always think that if I have a fourth tip, I have to come up with number five because I have to have an, mm -hmm. an odd number. Is that not true here? Well, I, you know, I, I don't know what the magic number is. I mean, there certainly is something called the rule of threes, which we've talked about here sure. before, truth, justice, and the American way, and why that works, I don't know, but it has a cadence to it that does work. So maybe it is Life, liberty, number. and the my, pursuit of happiness. Yeah. yeah. My point is that when you are putting together your story, you know, it, you want to write it, you want to craft it, but then go back through, and this is really all about editing. Editing, you know, what you take out of your story when you're telling it is sometimes as important as what you put into it. And so all I'm suggesting is that when you when you put it down there and you look at what you're you know what you're saying, go back and find ways to take some of it out if it makes it crisper. Now there is a point at which taking stuff out cuts to the bone sure. and takes away from your story. And that you don't want to do. But, Jerry, Jerry here's the thing that I, I struggle with is uh, I am the originator of all of those points. And ergo, uh, each one of them was uh, brilliant. Which one do I take out? How, how do I decide which one is the weakest? Is it possible for me to be objective in that regard? Well, it may or may not be uh, possible for you to take be objective, but if you are, uh, if you take a look at it and you just arbitrarily say, I'm going to take out, a certain amount of material, a point or a whatever, and just take it out. You just start and say, okay, if I have to take it out, which one do I want to get rid of? And you will subconsciously pick the one that right. is you think is the weakest or feel is the weakest. Now, uh, and, and if you do that and, and just force yourself to do it, editing is hard, and good editing is a real um, it's a craft. It's a it's a it's a real gift if you can do it well. But you have to if you're red editing your own material, you have to be ruthless. What I find is that really good writers really appreciate good editing, whether they do it themselves or have someone else do it for them. Mm -hmm. The weaker somebody's writing, the worse they're writing, the more they seem to just feel like, boy, you can't touch a single word because every word is just wonderful and gold. Yes, I love those words. It's I've put everything right. into it, and I'm and passionate about it, and it's I, not. It is not. Trust Editing me. is where the true professionalism comes to play. If you'd like to uh, follow Jerry's points, Jerry's articles, he has all of his articles of his storytelling tips that he shares here on the Experience Pros Radio Show are found at Jerry's blog at Jerry's 
GaryBrownPR.com. There's also an archive of all the storytelling tips um, that he shares here on this website uh, at GaryBrownPR.com. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Den Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit at staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. And he can, magic word, edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016.